After several weeks of waiting, a funeral arrangement for Osinachi Wanchuku is currently taking place and a burial date has also been announced. Though the result of her autopsy hasn't been made public by the authorities because of reasons best known to them, the 42-year-old mother of four was reportedly maltreated, brutalized and emotionally abused by her husband, leading to her untimely death. It looks like the autopsy might have strongly confirmed all the allegations by her family, children and close associates, who all pointed fingers at her husband of over 10 years as being the cause of her demise. In a new development, the federal government has entered a 23-count charge against a 56-year-old husband, Peter Wanchuku, charging him for allegedly committing culpable homicide, which has a grave consequence, punishable by death according to Nigerian law. So, in the layman's language, Peter Wanchuku is simply being charged with murder of his wife. The father of four was charged for cruelly beating his children, recording their cry and playing it on his phone. In the wake of all this development, the former couple's house in Abuja is being recovered by the landlord. Osinachi's family have taken custody of the children and will be relocating them to Enugun to live with their grandmother while receiving counseling. Osinachi's family are also reportedly looking into traditional divorce in death and planning to bury her in her father's compound. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Osinachi, the lead singer at Dunamis International Gospel Center, Abuja, died on April 8, 2022, in a hospital in Abuja. Initially, it was reported that Osinachi died of throat cancer. Still, shortly after the news of her death went viral, her family, including her children and friends, lamented that her marriage to Peter Wanchuku was the cause of her demise. They narrated how the gospel singer allegedly endured years of domestic and emotional abuse. The shocking and sad passing of the talented 42-year-old singer, known for her powerful voice, drew a global condemnation of domestic violence against women. Peter Wanchuku got arrested on April 10th after a viral public outcry. The case was transferred from Lugwe Police Division to the Federal Criminal Investigation Intelligence Department following his arrest. Peter Wanchuku on April 20th faced his children and Osinachi's family for the first time during a visit led by the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talen, to the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba. Her sister cried bitterly, facing the man who caused her sister so much pain. After the authorities decided to conduct a postmortem to determine the real cause of a demise, Abuja police announced that the result was out on April 25th. However, the result wasn't revealed to the public. Instead, the police said that the case was no longer with them but had been transferred to the Attorney General of the Federation, which meant that the result of the autopsy wasn't looking good. On May 27th, the Attorney General of the Federation slammed 23 count charges against Peter Wanchuku for complications and injuries Osinachi sustained after he assaulted her that eventually led to her death. According to court papers filed on May 20, 2022, Peter Wanchuku was charged with culpable homicide contrary to Section 221 of the Penal Code, which is punishable with death. Osinachi was forcefully ejected from a matrimonial home by her husband contrary to the Violence Against Persons VAP Prohibition Act 2015. The document also alleged that the defendant, Peter Wanchuku, had at the time forcefully pushed his late wife out of a moving vehicle. He deprived her personal liberty by restraining her movement and locking her up in the house, subjecting the Ekweme singer to emotional, verbal and psychological abuse contrary to Section 14 Subsection 1 of the VAP Act 2015. The federal government told the courts that investigations also revealed that the defendant denied Osinachi access to her money for medication and household necessities, thereby forcing her to beg and borrow. Furthermore, the documents also revealed that Osnachi's husband forcefully isolated and separated her from her family by preventing her mother and siblings from visiting a matrimonial home. These exact allegations were all initially confirmed by her elder sister, her twin sister, mother, children, close associates and friends. Speaking about Osnachi's children, many people were wondering what will become their fate and what has been their future since the death of their mother, the arrest of their father and the possibility of not seeing him ever again. 
when the Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Talen, visited the force headquarters with Osinachi's children to seek clarification on their father's rumored release from police custody in late April, she promised the children that she would pursue justice for their mother. The minister revealed that she would enlist the support of the governor of Abia state and the representatives of the constituency where Osinachi comes from and the assistance of the governor of Enugu state and his wife to give psychosocial support the children may need. The minister also promised to get the Enugu State Administration to help provide a safe home to the late singer's children since the landlord was repossessing their home in Abuja. The children may be relocating to Enugu to join their grandmother until justice is served. Osnachi's final lead to rest day has also been announced and, according to Vanguard, will take place on June 25, 2022. The Ekwebe singer will be buried at a father's compound in Abia State in Iswachi, Umuneochi local government area. Some of her family members also told BBC Igbo that they plan to return the bride prize as part of a burial rite. It is a severe and rare step taken by some families when a marriage goes wrong. The ritual is recognized in the Igbo tradition and culture that when a woman passes away in the hands of a husband through tragic means, such as murder or any grievous maltreatment, the family will have the right to dissolve the marriage by returning the bride price in the absence of their daughter and the marriage will be annulled in death. Once this is done, the husband's family will not be invited to the burial and the woman in question will be buried at a father's compound and possibly take back a father's son name. So it's likely that Osnachi will be buried as Osnachi Madu instead of Osnachi Wanchuku. Hmm, this is sad, right? What do you think about the fate of Peter Wanchuku? Regardless, is it right that the children might untimely become orphans in the nearest future? Will this type of justice help Osnachi's children mentally? Or will it be better if they know their father is serving a prison sentence for the rest of his life? Osnachi, during a lifetime, was known as a peacemaker. Do you think her family will be going against her will by divorcing her in death? Osnachi was known by the son name Wanchuku, despite reports saying that this isn't Peter's real son name. Do you think the gospel singer would love to be remembered as Osnachi Wanchuku or Madu? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.